Hey guys, it's Anne, welcome back. So today video, I wanted to take you guys go shopping with me at Cartier. I visited Cartier lately because I wanted to add another sibling to my beautiful Coco crush. And so I'm trying on all the, you know, all the different bracelets Cartier has to offer and I'm kind of excited. So let's go guys. Look at all these pieces. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Wow, I have never seen the necklace, like the JUC necklace in real life. Over here too. They also have some cups and spoons. How cute. Definitely want that. Some home. Ooh, look at that. Those are some promise rings or wedding bands. So this is my outfit for today. Honestly, I should have dressed better, but I got tired and waking up just wanted to be casual. So, yep, with my So Black um, Gabrielle bag. So here, the cell associate was just trying to find the best uh, size for me. And then originally, we tried on the 17, and she's like, oh yeah, that's way too big. And that was the uh, 15 that she tried on for me. And this one right here, I wanted her to try on the 16. Because last time I went to Cartier with my mom, the 16s was the size that we have decided. Like we had our heart set on 16. Um, yeah, she is just tightening up the screw on the side. But yeah, I definitely have my heart set on 16. But the SA strongly believe that 16 may be a little bit too large. Um, so she actually recommended 15 for me this time around. Um, but I mean, I thought it looks very comparable and I kind of wanted to wear my Cartier, um, I guess, closer to my body. So, yeah. That's what it looks like. I thought it looks pretty comparable, actually, now that I get to look at it again. Um, yeah, we're still in between the sizes, like the 16 versus the 15. But... Now that I look at it, I think 16 is much more comfortable and especially if I want to wear it closer to my body, um, that would be, that would be nicer. And here is the 15, you guys. Yeah, the 15 is definitely a little bit more like, you know, harder to move around and all of that. Um, yeah, I feel like the 15 is smaller, right? It does look way smaller. I think the 16 would be the best that goes with the um, Coco Crush. Ex extra small is my is the size for my Coco Crush. So, yeah, now that I get to look at it, 16 definitely the way to go. 15 would have been really cute wearing it, like, by itself, I think. But together with the Coco Crush and with the JUC, then I, I think... You know, for the extra small Coco Crush, the 16 would be better on my hand. Especially if I wanted to wear that, like, closer to my body, you know? Because then it's a little bit bigger. Yeah, so more of it. I originally thought that the Coco Crush is a little bit thicker than the regular Cartier Love bracelet. But looking at it now, I think... The size, the thickness is quite comparable. If anything, the Cartier is a little bit bigger um, compared to the thickness of the Coco Crush. But my Coco Crush, again, is in beige gold. And this is yellow gold in, in Cartier. Yeah, I, I definitely think that the 16 may be a little bit better if I was to wear it closer to my body. What do you guys think? Because I feel like the 15 is definitely smaller than the Coco Crush. Or was it just me? It's definitely smaller, right? 
Yeah, and she was saying that um the sixteen was too big because we she thought that she could like rotate it, like turn it all around, but then we couldn't. Um, she said for the love Cartier bracelet, you're supposed to wear it a little bit tighter, and this is you know my. Yeah, this is the sixteen with my Coco Crush, very comparable in size. I think I think I'm definitely gonna go for the sixteen. Let me know what you guys think though, because I'm definitely not experienced with Cartier or anything like that. Um, this is the JUC. This is the thick one or the regular size JUC. I'm trying to not not get it to scratch, you guys, because. The one that she tried on me is a brand new uh, love bracelet, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna scratch it. Yeah, and for the thicker one, the way you open it is much more, uh, much easier compared to the thinner JUC. Because the thinner JUC, you kind of have to slide your arm in. Yeah, I think we're talking about like putting in or how I'm gonna put. Um, the, the regular, the thinner one on by myself and I'm like, oh my god, I'm not gonna break it, am I? <laughs> Sorry it'd take a while, you guys, but that's what it looks like. That one is a 15. Yeah, so I definitely, well, the JUC is supposed to be one size smaller than the Love Bracelet, always. So if that JUC is 15, and it looks really nice on my hands right now, like the size very like proportional, then I think the 16 is definitely the way to go. But I don't know, you guys let me know what you guys think, because you guys are probably more experienced with the Love Bracelet than I am. That's what it looks like together with my Coco Crush alone without the love bracelet. It's pretty cute. Loving it. I think the thin one is very um, dainty, very girly, very cute. Um, the thicker one is definitely solid. You know, it looks more like, like I'm here for business. <laughs> but the, the dainty one's definitely cuter. Thanks for shopping with me at Cartier, you guys. I am excited to, um, you know, decide which bracelet I'm gonna add to this beautiful Coco Crush of mine. So, I would say, you know, let me know which one do you think I should get first. Should I get the white one so it would match with my, um, you know, with my wedding set? Or should I get the regular, like, or should I just get the yellow gold? Uh, or should I get the thin yellow gold? Or should I get the JUC? Like, I don't even know. There's so many options. Like, I couldn't decide. Um, but that will be the next purchase, you guys. So... Please let me know what you think, which one I should get next, okay? Down in the comment box below. I would appreciate that. Maybe I would see which one you guys like most because honestly, I couldn't decide. They're all really, really beautiful. So that was very, very difficult. Um, but yes, I'm leaning toward one more than the other two. But yeah, so let me know what you guys think, okay? So white gold, thin, thin white gold, or yellow gold, thin, or regular, with diamond, or without. And I don't think I'm gonna do the whole 12 diamonds either. Uh, the most that I would go is maybe four diamonds, um, but I think that that's it. I like the diamond on the Cartier because the Cartier diamonds are like, you know, it's, it's, it's more solid weight versus the the diamonds on the Chanel Coco Crush, I feel like it was just so small and I'm, I'm afraid that it, it would just fall out, you know, like when I shower and things like that. So I am excited for, um, for the next purchase from Cartier and I can't wait to see what you guys think. Um, that would definitely influence my decision. We'll get to think about it together, get to sleep on it and also 
save our money, right? So that's all I have for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.